We're back. We're talking about task management today. If you're finding yourself here from our planner video a while back, this is sort of a continuation on that. How do I manage tasks in Microsoft 365 well? And especially with these new tools as planner is evolving. Loop has also entered the scene and can kind of do task management too. So how does that all work together? Should you use it? How do you even get started? I'm gonna walk through some of the basics of different ways that you can add tasks to your loop pages, integrate in existing planner boards, and also share a few wish list items that I would love to see coming soon. And if this is your first video from us that you've watched, welcome. We do tons of content all about Microsoft 365 and helping you build a better workplace with the tools that you already have, streamlining your process and uh, align your people. And so if all of that kind of content is helpful to you, be sure to check out our channel and subscribe. So if you're starting from scratch, the first place that we're gonna look is right in loop. So we don't have any existing plans, we just wanna track tasks. What does that look like within loop? So I have a page open right here. I'm going to, the slash command is kind of the big thing in loop. I'm gonna type slash and that opens this little menu here and I'm gonna type in task list. So this is a, a table view of tasks. And this is doing some things under the, the hood that I'm gonna talk about in a second, but just a, a quick glance, what you have here is the name of a task, you can assign it to someone, give it a due date, as well as pick the bucket that it's in. So let's say I need to finalize my blog and I'm gonna assign that to me. And that needs to be done on Friday. Okay, and then I also need to assign graphics tasks to our graphic designer. Um, I'm responsible for that, but it'll end up going to someone else. So for now, that's that's my task. And I do need, let's see, I'll, I'll put that for next Friday. Okay, so we have a table view of our tasks here. And one of the new features that I'm super excited about is this switch view. I can flip it to a board view. And this is effectively what you might expect to see when it comes to like a, a planner board. So let's say I want to um, create an on hold group here. I can create that and then say, you know, at graphics, I don't know if this blog is gonna work out. And so let's put the graphics on hold. So that is it for the view. And then outside of that, this is pretty basic. You can change the view, you can sort, but you can't filter, and then you can hide columns. So leaves a little bit to be desired here compared to the features that come in Planner. But the thing that I wanna call out now is this task apps dropdown. So you'll see open in Planner and open to do. Because what this is actually doing is creating a Planner board behind the scenes that uh, automatically gets created for this workspace or the, the page the, in particular. So I'm gonna click open in Planner and you can see that it pulls up this different looking planner board with the loop logo up here. The thing that Microsoft has done here is actually made planner boards available outside of Microsoft Groups. They've been putting some infrastructure in place for a while, and this is part of the reason, is so that we can use it for a loop workspace. So I really love this task list component here in loop because it's really simple. It's so easy to get started, but sometimes it can feel a little too simple. I wish there was a couple extra dimensions here that I could go in and, and add to the task or comment on things, just a little bit more of the functionality that you see in Planner and uh, bring it into Loop. It is interesting to see the bucket column got added here. Uh, and the time that I was writing the blog and preparing for this video, there was no bucket column here. And so that just goes to say this thing evolves over time and I'm hopeful to see more complexity get added in. Um, I did forget to mention you can open this in to do as well. Obviously, if you're here from our last planner video, all of those tools are coming together. This menu is probably going to be changing in the short term. So if you see something different in the future, that's why is because planner is coming together with all these tools. So again, simple, 
easy way to get started right on a loop page and assign tasks to your users. The last thing I want to know is talking about permissions. So what this does is it creates that planner board and assigns specific permissions to the people that are in this workspace. It does not do anything outside of that. It just creates that board and adds the people who have access to this page to the board. So that's if you don't have anything existing and you want to get started within Loop. But what if you have a planner board and you want to display it alongside your other Loop content? Well, fortunately, you can do that too. The first way to do it is to just paste a link from a planner board in here and it'll render. So if I go over to this planner board and I go to this ellipsis and say, copy link to plan, I've got that link, and I just hit paste and then it pops in. I really like it because it doesn't look exactly like Planner. It's like they put a slight spin on it to make it look like a loopified version of Planner. But all of this stays in sync with your other Planner board. And this is really just a window into the tasks that you already have existing. The options up here are a little bit limited compared to the full version of Planner. Like you can't see the, the grid view, you can't view the, the schedule, like the calendar view or the charts. It's really specific to just the Kanban board view right now. You can filter, you can group by bucket, you can filter by members, and then you have just a couple extra settings over here. So the first thing that I thought of when I saw this planner board was, this is awesome. Can I display it like I'm looking at these other, this other task list here? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, you can't see it in a table view. The only way to do it right now at the time of recording is if the tasks originate in loop first by creating that task list component and then effectively creating a planner board. And that is the only way to see them in a table view right now. But hopeful that changes in the future. So I showed you how to add it with the pasting the link, which can be a little bit uh, not obvious. And so I actually just noticed that there is a new planner option here in the slash command, which is uh, new to me. So you're gonna see me poke around this. I'm gonna click planner. I'm gonna say I wanna add a plan. And then I was adding the marketing team internal insert suite. So that kind of gives people two different options for do I want to just grab the link and paste it in here and count on loop to take care of it? Or do I wanna say, I wanna go grab a planner board from within loop and, and link it up that way. I really appreciate that ability to kind of choose your own adventure and, and add it the way that makes most sense to you. The last note that I wanna give on this planner board is about security. This does nothing with the planner board security. All this does is gives people a window into the task board on the loop page that have existing access to the planner board. It does not grant the people that are in the loop workspace access to the planner board. And that's an important distinction to make because the task list component works a little bit differently. So anyone that you want to see the planner board here in loop needs access to it from the planner side of things. I'm counting on comments coming in of people saying, I wish when I add this other type of component that that actually created a task too. And why can I add all these different things that aren't actual tasks? It's a little bit of a dilemma because there's a couple different ways that you can create tasks here in the loop page, like the progress tracker. It allows you to pick a, a work area, let's say marketing. It, you can pick an owner. Again, I can pick me, not started. And this does not create a task list in the formal sense for me in the Microsoft space. This is a progress tracker. It's something to keep track of things over time, not to create specific tasks for people. Another one is the Kanban board. This doesn't create actual tasks either. It's meant for tracking progress. Is this something that needs to be enabled where you can go in here and say like, create an actual task from this thing or does this do good enough? The thing I want you to ask yourself before you go and say, 
this is a mess or this doesn't work is do I actually need tasks, like real tasks that show up on someone's to-do list? They need to be checking this thing off on this day. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes all you need is kind of a visual aid, something that shows broad strokes what is happening in a certain area of your business. And it doesn't actually need to create a task for someone. The thing that I like to tell people is this is sort of like a toolbox choose the tool that is right for your situation. We do a lot of progress tracking where we say, here's the status of things overall that we want to just give a simple view into things. And we don't actually need tasks to be under that. We might create tasks somewhere else that are kind of spun off and specific to people, but these tools are meant for tracking things over time. So just consider what is right for your users might not always be actual task lists and just know that these tools are here and available in that case. I do have a couple things on my wish list that I wanted to articulate here and, and get out as a suggestion to Microsoft. Maybe they'll be listening and want to implement some of these changes. The first thing is more views for this table view of task lists. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm super excited that we now have the board view here, but there's a lot of different ways to look at tasks. The one that I'm just waiting patiently for is a really good calendar view. If I could see my tasks in a nice calendar view that's better than the rest that Microsoft has given us, I would be so happy. But we'll keep fingers crossed on that. This task component needs just a little bit more depth like I've talked about earlier ability to filter things a little bit better and basically create whatever window that you want into your tasks across different pages. Let's say I want a roll up kind of dashboard page of here's tasks that are due in the next week or here's tasks that are flagged as critical. And I could always have an active view into those things and have that saved onto my page. That would go a long way for me. So it's obvious behind the scenes planner is kind of the, the task master here. But I really wish that instead of saying I want to pull in a planner board, I could say I want to pull in the tasks from a planner board. It's an important distinction because I really would love if we could just leave the display of everything up to loop. Let loop decide how all the tasks are displayed and not necessarily say, I need to view my planner board in loop. So I'm just wondering if that might evolve over time or if we'll always kind of have this, this disparate system. Okay, what do you think? Task management in loop. I think there's so much potential here. This is the first time that you can take a task list and display it alongside other content in a page. As far as I know, there has not been a way to do that before. That concept is really powerful to me because I like to add extra context around things or just drop in extra little components and build a helpful page to me. And I could never do that before with tasks. So super excited about this. I know Loop is kind of new around the scene and it's growing. They're investing in it. It's improving there is still a lot more to do. And so this is sort of a precursor to saying, here's where task management is at today. Here's how you can get started. Here's the different ways that, that you can use as well as the, the couple of wish list things. I hope this was helpful to you. Hey, if you lead an organization and you deal with this kind of stuff all the time and you want to communicate well with your team, we do actually have an internal communication guidebook available. You can check that out in the link in the description, but really it's all about building a connected team. And we do actually have a free course for that available. So we'll leave a link down below. All right, that's all we have for today. Get out there, go use the task management components. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to kind of pass along any feedback that you have to the Microsoft team and um, be that voice for you guys. So. Good luck and thanks for watching.